People who cater to the super rich, what things have you seen? Family friends were having marital issues. Their marriage counselor figured out a lot of their problems were over cooking meals. The counselor reminded them that they are rich and can just cater all their meals, and it would be cheaper than getting a divorce. They listened to the counselor and now are happily married again. I'm a driving instructor and one group rented the track to drive their supercars for the day. At the end of the day they all partnered up and got into the cars to leave. After they were gone we realized that they had forgotten their Lamborghini Aventador at the track. Old high school teacher of mine is an extremely successful private tutor and does a lot of work in the wealthy neighborhoods in the area. He told us once he was tutoring a kid and helped him get prepared and pass his college level physics class and at the end of their last session the kid told him to wait there and went into his dad's office and came out with his payment and an extra $1,000. My teacher tried to deny it, saying it was too much but the kid said his dad asked him to give a tip. Client was a mega millionaire in the 60s so even richer when I met him. He'd ride the bus to the office to have free coffee. Every day. Oh, my grandpa was a piano tuner. He couldn't drive due to epilepsy so family would take him to jobs. One day dad took him to a job and got talking to the owner. He said the guy lived in the biggest nicest mansion he had ever seen. Everything in the house was crazy expensive. But the owner and his wife were very down to earth and normal. If not a bit rough around the edges. Finally his curiosity got the better off him and dad asked how they made their money. The guy said he used to drive a truck and got tired of needing to carry around bottles of ketchup. That's how my dad met the creator of the ketchup packet. I live near a company that builds yachts. One day there was an odd looking yacht. A crew member explained to me that was a shadow yacht. You see, when you get hyper rich and have multiple yachts, you wouldn't want to ruin the aesthetic of your nice yachts with jet skis and helicopters. Nor would you want your crew to sleep on the nice yacht. So you buy a shadow yacht to store your toys and to house your crew. This shadow yacht follows your fleet of nice yachts around. A woman who owned a small private jet business told me one time someone paid him to fly their dog, by itself, to NY for about $45,000 for some training. No other passengers. When rich people want to buy a Jaguar in the UK they get assigned a special salesperson who is incredibly knowledgeable, they meet in a special fancy office, and special arrangements can be made. This was my friend Chris Job, he had access to things that a normal Jaguar salesperson wouldn't have. Like he could ring up the manager of the factory for special requests level of access. Well a Saudi price wanted to buy this new Jaguar that had been released, so they met up and spent a full day specking the Jaguar out. I believe the final price was something like 125k for the vehicle. Then came the decision for color, at the time the factory had 16 different color choices for this model. The prince asked if he could sleep on it as it was getting late and almost time for dinner, prayer my friend Chris says of course and they set a time to meet the new morning. Dot. The next morning the Saudi price is like, I figured out an acceptable solution to my color dilemma, to which Chris goes, and what would that be? The Saudi prince goes, I'll order one of each color, and my friend Chris is like oh well of course. They quote delivery time, Saudi prince was fine and asked for his options and was presented with ocean travel options to which the prince said, what about air cargo? Chris thinking maybe they'd do one or two by air cargo and the rest by boat, the prince was like, no I want all 16 vehicles loaded on a plane, and flown to Saudi Arabia. So that's the story on how 16 of the same Jaguar with different colors ended up being flown to Saudi Arabia all in the total cost was around 2.5 million. Please note the prices should be pound not dollar. My great uncle was very well off. He did not have a guest house. It was a guest mansion. Separate from his mansion. In case his kids dropped by. This does not include the Olympic sized indoor pool. That was a separate building. He bought a cannon. He used it to shoot the mountain behind his house. He shot brand new special bowling balls out of it. They cost 100 bucks per ball. I worked at a resort and marina that dealt with high-end boats, from mega yachts to brand new cigarette boats. Always assume the quiet dude with the stained shirt is the owner of the performance boat. Never expect tips from mega yachts. The most narcissistic guests were always surgeons. The angriest guests were lawyers. No offense to attorneys, I am one. The richest were in construction and commercial real estate. 
The best tippers were guys entertaining their side pieces on their boats when you know their actual wives. I work at a university offshoot where a billionaire has donated a few buildings. He'll drive through every now and then to take a look at them. He'll stop and chat with us lowly workers and occasionally give us tickets to the games in the arena he donated to the university. Have the money to support their eccentricity. One guy the first cook for wanted his house built so that his bedroom was right above the cow barn, with a retractable spot in the floor so he could fall asleep listening to, and smelling, I presume, the cows. My dad delivered a pizza to Rob Deerdick. He tipped him 100 bucks and apparently farted and thought it would be silent, but it wasn't. Was invited to a Christmas dinner while I lived in Seoul by an extremely wealthy Korean family. Very nice family but I think in hindsight they wanted to show their friends that they had foreign friends like me. Wife had everything catered and the home professionally decorated, it felt like we were in a department store. Multiple Christmas trees, a working train set, staff handing out appetizers on plates etc. It looked like she studied Christmas movies from the USA and copied everything. Dinner is served on a comically long table with two huge oven roasted turkeys and all of the trimmings, they look perfect. I was later told that Koreans don't like turkey and were just for decoration, they would be thrown out later. We ate Korean food. The family said I could take a turkey home and that the caterer would drop it off with anything else I wanted. I became personal friends with my boss and his wife, super nice people. The wife turned out to be an heiress and would buy me whatever I mentioned, like in passing during a conversation. I learned gifts were how she was raised to show love. I've trained myself to only talk about things I already own, unless I find something useful she might like and suggest it for her. Some extremely wealthy people I have been around have a more acute sense of their own time and mortality, leading to impatience. Like they understand how awesome their lives are and therefore how short they feel. I knew a guy whose vintage yacht broke down before summer so he bought another one strictly for that upcoming summer. His reasoning was he likely had 20 full health summers left in his life and didn't want to spend one of them without a boat considering he had the means to. Honestly can't argue with that logic. I worked for the sister of a billionaire doing odd jobs, that eventually turned into doing the same for her friends and family. People in the single-digit millions spend recklessly, always trying to show off their wealth. People in the double-digit millions are a mixed bag. People in the $100 million dollar B range were incredibly interesting because the ones I worked for were incredibly frugal. If you took away the business aspect, they were normal people, not pretentious assholes. They didn't really care about appearances anymore. They drank $50 bottles of Likauer, not $1,000 scotches. They preferred pizza to a catered meal. They bought the home with the best view, not the biggest home. Thea big purchases were also investments, own a PGA course, but use a $2,000 set of clubs because they liked the fit. Make a $50 million deal in khaki shorts, sandals, and a t-shirt. Never did I hear a raised voice, every request was prefaced with please, and often thanked genuinely. I was incredibly shocked, not the demeanor I anticipated. That leads me to the most common thing I saw, terrible kids. Just absolute abominations of people. Terrible, demanding, and not worthy of the empires their parents built. Have been working for the super rich for some time. Craziest thing I've seen. Brand new 90 meters multi-million pound, GBP, yacht was built in Netherlands. Maiden voyage to Antibes in France. Owner came on board and left after a few hours. Next week we get sent to Genoa, Italy, where all the bathrooms on board were ripped out and upgraded. That doesn't sound like a big deal but I'm talking about brand new marble sinks, showers, floors and lobbies all crowbarred out chucked in skips. Tons of brand new polished marble binned. New marble colors and patterns arrived in the weeks following. There's feed me money, there's beep you money and there's, it's not even a thought money. I used to work for an era billionaire son, a daddy's money guy, terrible garbage human being. Once saw him spend $16,000 on a wallet was a fancy one with little gold spikes on it and stuff. He had shoes with gold on them. I remember one year for his birthday he received like 30 plus cakes, big fancy cakes and he told us to leave them on the floor in the hallway outside his room. We walked by those cakes every day for two weeks waiting for instruction, after the two weeks we were told to throw them away. I used to work for a company that modified aircraft for really rich people. I'm talking 747s, not Gulf Streams. 
This company had made several aircraft for this one customer, who I was told had purchased a new one solely because his spiritual advisor had told him that one of his current planes was bad luck. He still let his wife use it for her personal travel. To me, one of the most exquisite features of these planes wasn't the gold-plated everything, or rare wood veneers, it was the silk carpet. That stuff cost over $1,000 per square foot and feels like walking on a bed of angel feathers harvested in the most inhumane way possible. Granted, these guys don't deck out the whole plane, just their personal areas, the aft third is usually reserved for staff and such and is more like a fancy economy class. But yeah, silk carpet. My wife's aunt and uncle were busy the entire day of their 25th anniversary and returned home in about 2100 hours. Decided that the kids needed a bit of fun and booked a private jet to Moscow they live in Paris, and spent a week there. Money gotta love it. Keith Urban tipped me $7 on a $4 shake and left the keys to his Bentley at the store but he came back and got them. I used to pets it. I remember a rich person asking me to pets it their cat. There was a lot of TVs, in almost every room. The weirdest was the bathroom. Sorry, cat bathroom. There was a TV playing cat cartoons, an overly fancy litter box and paintings of cats. Some kids have whole plans and strategies they practice to prevent being kidnapped or harmed by crazy stalkers. One kid I worked with was the kid of a big Hollywood player. And people would stalk the kid in an attempt to get to the parent. So this nut job wielding a screenplay broke in and cornered the kid. Here I am thinking I am going to have to throw myself physically between them but the kid dove into a nearby dog kennel and locked themselves in. He couldn't get out but the nut job couldn't get in either. So the nut job just threw the screenplay at him into the kennel. Meanwhile I had called the cops. I was so impressed by the kid's quick thinking and asked how he got the idea. But he said that he always keeps an eye out for a way to escape. And when he sees someone he doesn't know approach, he gets ready to run. I felt awful that this kid had to live like that. If I hadn't seen it happen myself I would have thought it was just paranoia. As a chauffeur and ski companion for a mega rich guy's daughter, he sent me out to buy her a birthday present for when she turned 17 I think it was. This was way back in the 70s, so I got her a new BMW 2002, and told the dealer to charge it to the guy. Which was cool and later the dealer offered me an absolute deal on a trade and that was the usual cream puff only driven to church on Sundays. 500 bucks for a really good late model used car, but an American car they never dealt in. Much later on, 30 years later I was working with an architect building a home for an other mega rich guy and the library was to be paneled in knotty pine. Guy's wife arrived when it was almost completely trimmed out and says, too many knots. So we ripped out the whole interior and the guy, who owns several saw mills, sent back to the mill to ship another truckload so we could select the boards under the wife's direction. And same wife, same building, could not figure out how to turn the car around in the triple wide driveway. So he had a turntable installed in the garage so all she had to do was miss the edges of the door on the way in or out. I know of someone that had a $100,000 toilet. I have worked for some of the richest people in Maryland and the one thing that stands out more than others is this doctor I worked for in Montgomery County. It's one of the most affluent zip codes in America. Anyway, this guy owned a beep load of offices around the DC area, tons of employees and associate doctors, etc. guy was seriously loaded. Huge garage full of super expensive cars like multiple Ferraris, art collection, wine cellar, the works. I used to do IT work for his medical practice and manage all the servers and stuff, and occasionally went to their house because I was the lead admin. I once was working in his house and was walking around upstairs where the bedrooms were. I beep you not this guy was laying in bed being fed by an assistant. Like he was literally laying in bed while someone hand fed him, and not like grapes but a regular meal. It was beep weird as beep imagine someone feeding you a full meal like a steak and spoons of soup, salad, etc. and you never used your hands. It was like an adult being fed like a baby. It seemed like Saddam Hussein type beep I've never seen anything like that before and that was what popped into my mind, like a dictator or something who demands to be treated like a literal king. There was nothing sexual about it. Keep in mind this was a man in his 50s who was in fine physical shape and didn't need a caregiver. It was just pure opulence. Then one time I was working in the kitchen area and his young son, probably late teens slash early twenties came walking past me and stunk to high heaven of pot, which I'm totally cool with and we joked about, he went to the kitchen and poured a ipa into a glass and went back to his room, this was at 9am lol I thought it was hysterical. 
He was a cool kid from my interactions with him, probably just figured my dad is rich as beef so I don't have to worry about anything so he was totally laid back. I've got some other strange things but that is by far the strangest. Edit, edited for additional content. My cousin was a caretaker for one of those Beverly Hills rich ladies. While she was alive my cousin didn't know how to cook. So she flew a chef from Paris first class and have him set up in a hotel. All the chef did was come to her place every day and teach my cousin to cook. While they were watching TV my cousin remarked that the newest Benz on the commercial was nice. When he came to work the next day she bought it for him top of the line with all the bells and whistles. Ever since that day my cousin had to be careful on what he says. They returned the car. They have a tennis court at her place. He watched Nadal play there I believe. Kardashian's dogs sometimes go to their yard. My cousin have a daughter. Dog there has a trust and can go any school from elementary to university fully paid. Sadly the old lady died couple of years ago. Left them about 20 mil USD. I think they are still fighting the grandkids at court because of it. Dot. That 20 mil was in the will and everything with a no contest clause I think. Rich broker I worked with got a divorce. His wife wanted 30k a month, per child, in child support. His lawyer convinced him it was a good deal and he should take it. He asked me if 30k a month was a lot of money. I told him that was more than I make in an entire year. He said, beep can't believe I have such a beep lawyer, cool dude. Had to overnight him some pants because somehow he ended up in Scotland and it was cold and he couldn't be bothered to go shopping. He had a house in Santa Barbara that was given to his first ex-wife that stopped paying taxes on it basically an abandoned mansion. He sent his assistant there to check it out and there was a family of raccoons living in it. He really liked Grey's Anatomy and needed ice for his Diet Coke. Like really needed ice, so the office got a $1,000 ice machine just on the off chance he showed up to the office. I had a client that lived right outside NYC. They were new money in an area that was mostly old money. Hated their neighbors, but played nice face to face. Every time the neighbor's wife would buy something and try to show it off, they would buy a more expensive, rare version, or buy two of the same if that wasn't possible. The vast majority of it was displayed in the front room. Client's wife called it the beep off room. They were a bit eclectic but were really nice people. Beep ton of fancy kayak slash fishing equipment not used since 2016. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upboat for the best quality content every day.